Terry, put the stuff in. Put the A in there, Terry. That's it. Okay, a little more on the right, Terry. That's it. That's coming now. Shall we start the camera out? Yeah. Okay, Terry. Three. Shut down, Terry! Two. The budget for the Walt Disney Studios' upcoming outer space epic, The Black Hole, is $20 million. Half of the cost will be taken up by the special effects. And the final product will be the vision of this man, Peter Ellenshaw. And these are some of Ellen Shaw's visions. They are designs which eventually resulted in sets and 150 matte shots. Now, mats are paintings made on glass. They add whatever the filmmaker wants without the prohibitive expense of the real thing. Peter Ellen Shaw has been a matte painter and production designer for nearly 50 years. For example, here is some of Peter Ellen Shaw's past matte work. If you're doing a movie about ancient Rome, just get the people and build the base of the temple and let Peter Ellenshaw's brush do the rest. Ancient Rome without Ellenshaw, ancient Rome with Ellenshaw. Suppose your harbor scene only has one real ship. Ellenshaw can give you a fleet of ships at anchor. When America was being settled, new cities were founded along many of the heavily traveled rivers. These two travelers now have a place to stay tonight. The winner of this jousting meet in merry old England needs a castle to live in. Watch the upper left-hand corner. Presto, a castle fitting any knight. And when the knight has visitors arriving, it's much more picturesque with a stone bridge and a castle to get to. England without Ellen Shaw, England with Ellen Shaw. Here's a, a great example of how far mats have gone from the time when I was saying little thing on the hill, little castle on the hill. This thing here, this tremendous mat, is a prime example of how we can now use mats with computerized movements that give us a tremendous scope. This scene starts inside an elevator and as the elevator doors open we see our heroes walk in and then as they as they come up to this set and stop we gradually bring the camera back and reveal this whole scene Can you break down the cost to say what this piece of glass, what the cost was to create this versus a set? Yeah, I would imagine that the cost of this little matte painting here would have probably be a thousand or two thousand dollars, and they, to build a set like this would have cost us half a million dollars. Peter Ellenshaw's long association with Walt Disney was an especially satisfying one, culminating in an Oscar for Mary Poppins in 1964. But this is where Ellen Shaw is happiest, at his easel, at home. Ellen Shaw is a renowned painter of landscapes and seascapes, paintings that bring prices up to $20,000. I put everything I have from my past experience into a painting until it's the way I think it has done the best I can possibly do. I won't let it go. The question of the price of the picture is the gallery's problem. Most of the, the cost of a painting goes into the years it takes to paint and also to the gallery who has to keep up a, a very expensive gallery as they do in Hammer Gallery, the center of New York. And therefore I feel we both have to charge enough to make it worth the trouble of even selling paintings. Ellen Shaw left the Disney Studios once to pursue his own paintings he was lured back by the enormous challenge of the black hole. But this is it, he says. After the black hole, no more movies. Everybody says, well, you've said that before, but really uh, my other work is calling me and I have to get back. There are many exciting projects I have on that one as well. And that is the, the painter's 
ability to, to lead the monk's life, as you put it. Uh, in a way, and it's a challenge. I, I constantly want to improve my paintings, and uh, the only way I can do that is spend a great deal of time and thought on them, and I'm not getting enough time to spend on them. That's why. So if the phone rings again from the Disney studios... Uh, yeah, don't answer it. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Hollywood.